Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Thursday, September 14th, 2023. And here are some of today's trends in the news. And again, the trend is your friend, and we are the only magazine in the world that gives you in-depth socioeconomic, geopolitical, high-tech, technocracy, on and on and on, trends shaping the future. This is what's going on. This is how it happened, and this is where it's going. So, the markets today. Whoa, it's a big day in America. Madonna me, yep. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rallied the most in over a month. Why? As traders, this is from CNBC, as traders cheered the revival of Wall Street's IPO market. Huh. Wall Street traders? How about fucking gamblers? Let's stop this trading bullshit. Oh, the IPO, everything is great. All these high interest rates, oh, IPOs will be flourishing. You know what this, this is? This is fucking outright. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. You got it. Dow was up for the first day in three, climbing 331.58 points, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why, huh, arm shares surged, surged 24.7% after the chip design company started trading Thursday. Investors hope the biggest tech offering of the year could kickstart a sleepy IPO market. Number one, the chip design company. As we said, this AI is real. It's one of our top trends for 2023. As this was just beginning, AI, we own you. And we have a separate section in each week's trends journal brought to you by Joe Duran and others that are signaling where AI is going. Ben Davis, we're, we're giving you everything we can in each weekly trends journal. So yeah, this is going up, but the IPO market, you know, it's total fucking bullshit with interest rates where they are. And we'll talk about more of that as well. So in addition, investors digested a raft of economic reports pointing to tamer core inflation and a resilient consumer. More fucking mainstream. Bullshit. 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 Absolute bullshit. Yep. Core CPI, which excludes food and energy, came in slightly above expectations. Oh, excludes food and energy. Fuck food and energy. You don't have to fucking eat. You don't have to put gas in your car. Fuck food and energy. We're going to make up shit and take it out of the life of the real people because the fucking rich don't give a flying shit about how much they pay for food and fuel. This is total crap that they're putting out. August sales came in better than expected, jumping 0.6% against the 0.1% blah, 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 excluding blah, 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 blah. When you put inflation into it, no, it's at best flat. And when you put real inflation into it, consumer sales went down because it's costing more to buy less. But... That's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal, because they feed you bullshit. Oh, and by the way, Earl prices? Yeah. Was it $94 a barrel? $93 a barrel? Yeah. What was it back in uh, June? $70 a barrel? For Brent crude? Energy prices don't mean anything? Now you got to take a global perspective of this. Inflation skyrocketing. It's hurting people big time. And not only the consumer, how about all the manufacturers that need energy? Yeah, that goes way up too. So what do we got? U.S. inflation rises after fuel prices jump. Consumer prices rose 3.7% year on year, blah, 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 blah. More than half the monthly increases in price pressures were driven by a recent jump in petrol prices. Yep. 
and it's going to only get worse. August producer prices spiked 0.7%. That's well above where the estimates were. And it's the biggest jump since last June. And again, what's driving it up? Oil prices. And, and West Texas in, in the United States is over $90 a barrel. Then what happened over there in the uh, ECB? They raised interest rates today. That's right. That's it. Christine Lagarde, look at the fucking freaks that are running the show. Oh, before she became head of the ECB, the European Crap Bureau, and I can't say the other word because I wouldn't want to be disrespectful. She was the head of the IMF, the International Mafia, a monetary fund. Bullshitting, bullshitting that there's no inflation. That's right. Eurozone interest rate hike reached wretched high. The European Central Bank has announced the 10th consecutive hike in its key interest rate. So, as we point out in the Trends Journal, you got the largest economy in the world, uh, excuse me, the fourth largest in the world, Germany, in a recession. And now you're raising interest rates? Oh, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be great. No, it's not. The worst is yet to come. It's going to be dragflation. You're seeing inflation keep going up with the high energy and other costs and the economy going down, and it's going to go down a lot worse with the higher interest rates. EU policymakers, policymakers, fucking pricks that are scumbag bureaucrats, policymakers, policymakers. These are the scumbags that tell you what to do. We're policymakers. We're policymakers. All you are are plantation workers of Slavelandia. So do what we tell you to do. Calm down, Salente. Swallow their crap. Be a good American. Be a good European. Swallow the bullshit out of Macron's mouth. Bend over for Olaf Schultz. And the Sondak over there, I've forgotten, the UK, the F-U-C-K. Yeah, anyway, you ready? The rates stood at a record low of minus 0.5% just 14 months ago. Yep. Because Lagarde said there's no inflation. You're full of shit, Salenti. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. There's no inflation. It's only temporary and transitory. Yeah. Hey, did you see that, that video of the guy in Burbank? The guy that playing uh, the, the, the mayor of Burbank getting spanked by some guy dressed up as a queer spanking him in front. Did you see that video? Yeah. Transitory? Transgendatory. Oh, oh, it's okay for a guy to get spanked. But boy, if you spank a woman, then you go to jail. This shows you how fucked up everything is. You got to look at this thing, this video. This guy getting spanked by a guy dressed up as a fucking a crazy looking lunatic, a guy trying to be a chick with his fake hair, spanking the guy with a board, and allegedly there were children there. So tr inflation wasn't temporary. It wasn't transitory. It was transgendatory. We have to be proper here. This is the bullshit people that are running the show. August wholesale inflation rises 0.7%, hotter than expected. But core prices, the core prices are bullshit. Yep. The PPI energy index rose 10.5% on the month. Yep. This inflation is real. It's hurting people. The worst is yet to come. They're going to do everything they can to artificially prop up the markets, just as they did today with the bullshit of arm. You have broken fucking arm. So the guess is, the 97% guess, that the Fed's not going to raise interest rates next week. 
Ready? BlackRock and Amundi investment chief warn of rising recession risk. Yep. It's reality. But we've only warned about this. And again, it's not recession. It's not stagflation. It's dragflation. Hey, maybe the fucking guy that was dressed up like a freak that was beating the ass of the clown playing the, 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 uh, the mayor of Burbank Maybe I can't say dragflation to you, huh? Oh, and by the way, we made sure the doors were locked so the freaks don't come in that hate me for speaking the truth and loving peace. Don't try to break in anymore. Saudi oil cuts set to keep gasoline prices at high levels. Yep, Wall Street Journal. Again, the IPO crap that came out today is total fucking that right. Mortgage rates now are well over 7%. According to Mortgage News Daily, the 30-year fixed rate is averaging 7.22%. How are you going to borrow money with high interest rates? It's total fucking bullshit. And they, and they just raised them in Europe. There's already a recession going on. They're that far away from a, a, a total EU recession. And now with the tourist season ending, it's going to get a lot worse. And they raised interest rates. And again, in your Trends Journal, you go to trendsjournal.com, this week's magazine, oh, it's only over 180 pages, no ads. And there it is, The Walking Dead, they're in front of us. People don't know dick about shit about what's going on in the world. They're fucking out of their minds, don't have a clue. We're giving you everything we can that you're not getting anywhere else. So go to trendsjournal.com and subscribe. You ready? The Freddie Mac fixed rate for 30 year mortgage remained above 7% this week. High mortgage rates continue to subdue borrow demand with mortgage applications in the first week of September falling to their lowest level since 1996, which is when this became an international bestseller. It came out, it was supposed to come out in 96, but the shithead running Warner Books held it up for a year. It came out in 1997 and still became an international bestseller. And we warned about this back then. And so this is according to Bob Brooks, mortgage, uh, CEO of Mortgage Bankers Association. All right. So the IPO is a lot of crap. And again, the mortgage, the, the, the best, the gets, the, the guess, by the way, is that they're going to raise interest rates in the United States in November. E UK economy shrinks the fastest pace in seven months. No shit. No shit. Again, we forecast all of this. It's in your magazine, the Trends Journal. A grand total of $2.86 a week. Nothing. Nothing. And we're giving you everything. Everything that you can't find anywhere else. And if you can find it, let us know. Manhattan median rent remains at record high level. You ready? $4,400 a month. $4,400 a month. Who could afford this? Who could afford this? Oh, there's no inflation. Oh, we're not going to put that into CPI numbers either. You go to shadow stats, you look at the real numbers, they're more than double what they're reporting right now. Yep. Consulting firm EY said it recently completed a $1.4 billion investment to artificial intelligence. As we keep saying, artificial intelligence is real. It's artificially real and it's going to take over and keep bringing down the spirit of the people. You ready for this? After layoffs, Gannett is hiring Taylor Swift and Beyonce journalists. How the fuck could you call them journalists if they're following Beyonce and Taylor not so swift? How the fuck do you call them journalists? Subscribe to USA Today. Subscribe to Gannett. This is the shit that they're putting out. Journalists. How about go fuck yourself? They're paying them $50.87 an hour between 21 
63. Yep. You ready? Taylor Swift is an artist and a businesswoman whose work has tremendous economic, cultural, and societal significance. Kristen Roberts, Gannett's chief content officer, said in a statement, she is shaping a generation and is relevant, influential, innovative. You ready? Just like us. Just like you. You are publishing crap. You are publishing crap. Just like you. This is the fucking crap they're putting out why everything is so fucked up because people swallow this shit. You pay $2,500 to go see Beyonce, Beyond, whatever, or anything? Calm down, Salente. It's corruption. It's oppression. It's World War III. It's censorship. It's tyranny. It's bullshit and lies. Swallow their crap. All right, what else we got here? <laughs> you ready? Taking dietary, dietary supplements full of antioxidants could actually help cancerous tumors grow. Oh, this was in study finds. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know about that one. Putin accuses, oh, they knew him. That's out of, yeah, Putin accuses UK of being behind plot against Russian nuclear plant. Okay. We said this is going to happen. It's going to be a false flag or a nuclear exchange, and it's officially going to start World War III. The numbers are right there. That other arrogant, that arrogant piece of political shit, that Stoltenberg, the head of the NATO guy. And by the way, they're all these scumbags are destroying our lives. And let them know, hey politicians, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? You go to trendsjournal.com. You go to the shop thing and get it, and you look at the back of it, it makes it very clear. Hey, politicians. You ready? This is from anti-war. Secretary Jens, Jens Stoltenberg acknowledged last week that Russian President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine last year to prevent NATO from expanding into the country. That's right. That's right. Hey, Stoltenberg, maybe you're too fucking stupid or arrogant to remember the deal that was made between Gorbachev and Bush Sr., that NATO would not move, quote, one inch further. And when they made that deal back in 1991, there were 16 NATO countries, and now it's just about double. All right? Oh, now he admits it. Blinken, U.S. does not oppose UK targeting Russian territory with U.S.-provided missiles, ABC News reports. Isn't that great? Yeah, bombs away. Go over to right, bomb the shit out of it. World War III's begun. And all of you Quakers, you died in earthquakes. You don't come out for peace. All of you Seventh-day Adventists are looking for the eighth day. Yep. Yep. One after another. One after another. All the religions. Yep. Do religions have lockjaw? Where are the preachers of peace? You know, the Catholics are screwing little boys. I forgot the Catholic priests. And I went to Catholic school and got fucked up by nuns. I know that the, oh yeah, the nuns love, they love you when you beat the fucking shit out of somebody like me, a little kid, bust my eardrum and perforate my little middle ear. And one study after another about all these Catholic priests fucking these little boys up the ass. Oh, Christ would have loved that. Where are all the Catholics? Where are all your Catholic priests? How can you not talking about peace? Oh, you're only talking about pieces of ass? Little boys' asses? Okay. Syria demands U.S. pay for stolen oil. How dare they? How dare they? The United States could steal oil anywhere they want. You think we would have invaded Iraq if their major export was broccoli? What the fuck is the United States doing in Syria? Oh, we're getting them ISISs. You were stealing their fucking oil. U.S. and Canadian warships sail through Taiwan Straits. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are the United States and Canada doing in Taiwan? How about if the Chinese were off the, the coast of Canada? True dope. Oh, you go over there and fight them? How about if the Chinese are down in the Gulf of Mexico and the Russians were off the East Coast? Yeah, but we could do anything we want. Man, we got we to gotta save Taiwan. You ready? There's this article in uh, Intercept. You got to read it. Pentagon misled Congress about U.S. bases in Africa. They didn't mislead them. They lied. What the fuck are we doing in Africa? 
survey, Russia rates highest as a threat to the world. <laughs> Half C U.S. is a global danger. Great. NATO's launching its biggest exercise since the Cold War. Terrific. Sweden to boost defense budget by 30%. Great. The, the, keep building up the, the war machine, get ready for war, and slaughter all your people because you're going to die in a nuclear war. Scathing new report, this is from USA Today, says American schools are failing the COVID generation are failing the COVID generation. No shit. We warned about this three years ago when they locked down everybody and kids weren't allowed to go to school. And then they're staying home week after week, month after month, year after year. And they say, I hate going to fucking school. I don't want to go back. And what else we got? We've got a lot. Obesity is killing Americans. No shit. S yeah, blimpitis. Look at your Trends Journal cover. This, this is news. Keep eating shit. We're number one. We're number one. France bans iPhones over radiation concerns. Yep. Wonder about this for how long? I don't carry a cell phone. I don't, I wouldn't know how to use one. If my life depended on it, I'd be dead. If my life depended on using a cell phone, no, I got I got a flip phone that I made, and it's no. Maybe I made ten calls in a year, like when I travel and they got to pick me up somewhere. I've been doing the research on this since 1994 when I did work for the cellular telecommunications industry. Yep, keep keep using them. The sperm count's going to go down to what zero in 1940 by 2045. So what else we got here? Eating processed foods high in E numbers can lead to heart disease. No, what a, I would have never known that. New study is warning another harmful ingredient in ultra processed foods. This is from Paris, France. Cold medicine decongestant found ineffective. Yeah, these are the fucking people telling us what to do. This is the fucking shithead that's the, the United States top health cat, right? Or queen, I don't know. He became a cat, then a queen. Look at it. Look at the fucking people telling us what to do. Rachel Levin, Lola, L-O-L, Lola. How the fuck can you be so stupid to listen to this shithead? And by the way, first book I worked on, Natural Healing, Lola. Natural Healing. I want a book. And that's about it. Got a lot more going on. It's in your Trends Journal. Go to trendsjournal.com. Read history before it happens. We're giving you everything that nobody else says. What the world is going on, what it means, what's next, and what to do. We report what they're reporting, give our trends analysis so you know it's not propaganda, and our trend forecasts. And again, over 180 pages this week, you read what you want. Oh, and you can listen to it, too, if you don't want to read it. So thanks for tuning in, and check out the video I did, a great one, with Judge Andrew Napolitano. It's on our website. Just did it yesterday. Check it out, and we'll see you soon. At the Trends Journal, the best investment you could make because it's the best investment into your mind, and it can change how you look at the world. His work is actually a gold mine. Anybody interested in politics, political trends, economic trends, social trends, cultural trends, you have to follow him, Gerald Salente. The Trends Journal is one of the greatest sources of information, and it's uh, and it really is. You're predicting these things well ahead of time. I would encourage everyone to go grab the latest copy. Been a Trends a Journal subscriber for 20 years. I just have to commend you. What you guys have put together in your latest Trends Journal, there's nothing like this out there. So everything that you predicted about the economy, you are absolutely right. So I, I, I have followed you all this time. So please take a look at the Trends Journal. You correctly forecast that the Fed would hike rates quite aggressively. Correctly said that initially gold and silver would drop as the Fed starts to raise rates to one and a half percent and above. When we spoke last, Bitcoin was around 49,000. You said you expect to drop and if it drops below 30, 35, then it could really drop. Trends Journal, which I would encourage people to go and check out. It's actually a 200-page 
document, pure data-driven analysis. Gerald Salente, the top trends forecaster in the world. Gerald, you had an interesting call back in September of last year. You said gold had bottomed, which is exactly what happened. And here we are, and we're above $1,900. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens at trendsjournal.com.